All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I came to talk. Have you been stalking me? If it makes you feel any better, yes, I've been stalking you. No, Dozie, my heart is heavy. I need closure. Were you dating that lady while you were with me? Okay. I see you don't want me to enjoy my lunch. Okay, I'm out. Have you heard the saying that says, never get dirty with someone who has nothing to lose? Hey, Jama. No, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? No, 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 don't. No, 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 I need to, that's my, uh... At least for now. No, let me just have this quiet moment with you. Um, you know, I may never have this chance again. I'm married, okay? I'm, but I'm still in love with you. I can't do this to my wife. What are you doing? I Shh. I am HIV positive. Are you? Yes, I'm an HIV carrier. You knew all along? And if you haven't seen a medical doctor since the last time we saw, you definitely have HIV. Please, am I infected? Huh? Yes, you are infected, Mr. Dozi. And I'll advise you to bring your wife to be tested as well. Mr. Dozi, I'm sorry to announce that your wife is HIV positive. Was she the reason you never picked my cause while in Calabar? I'm sorry, babe, I'm sorry. And that was also the reason you started acting straight when you returned? Yes. Babe, I didn't want this for us. I did not want this. Get out! Alright guys, so in this one, Fury, it's... It's sad. It's sad because this is the reality that a lot of women usually face. And when I say women, I'm referring to the wife of the man. Yes, it uh, somewhat seems like it's a more popular notion that men are the one that cheat. But the problem is that if it happens to be the case, which is not always the case, there's a lot of scenarios where women are the cheaters. But if it happens to be the case and, you know, the man didn't use protection, then, you know, it's easy to bring these diseases back to the family, hence the wife. Now, in this case, as you can see, she knew she had the HIV, her ex, um, she made sure that she passed it on to him. I feel like if it's not already, it should be a crime to knowingly, you know, transmit such diseases to other people whether it's small or big you know like the hiv or small like maybe the gloria you know it's it should be a crime but at the end of the day husbands wives you know even boyfriends girlfriends everybody should be careful you know careful out there this hiv thing is real i know it seems like it's under control in terms of uh, treatment but the truth is that it's not easy to deal with even those that are going through the treatment they don't find it easy so worst of all is bringing it back to the house and then transmitting it to the husband or to the wife, the innocent party. That's, that's a heartbreaker. In this case, there's two things that we need to take out of this. First is, you know, if you know you're HIV positive, you know, transmitting these things to people knowingly, I think is already a crime. And if it's not, the government should look into making it a crime. You know, because it's seriously same and similar with murder, you know, or attempted murder, whichever one you want to apply it to. But then the other part is the part about infidelity. You know, infidelity, it's something that as much as it might look like it wouldn't hurt the person that doesn't know. At the end of the day, when instances come around where you now contracted a disease and you brought it back home, you know, then of course it's not just affecting them mentally it's affecting them physically emotionally you know health wise socially and everything and that's if they even get to stay alive because many people die from the disease and before i end this i would definitely want to add this thing about the ex you know sometimes it looks like with time the wound with the exes in most cases or in some cases tend to heal and then you know when you happen to see them again you kind of reconnect 
uh, and it's one of those reconnect for old time's sake. But the truth is that, you know, they're already an ex for a reason. So you got to keep them at arm's length. Don't come close. Don't go hanging out. Don't go for a drink. Don't, you know, go and check. If they buy something, they traveled and they're coming back, they bought something. Stay away from all those things because all those things sooner or later would attract you to feel like you owe them a date or a dinner or something. And, you know, one thing always leads to another. So they are ex for a reason. You know, something didn't work out. And at that point, you guys decided it was best to move on. So, you know, keep them at arm's length. And that applies to, again, both men and women. That's it for this one, guys. You know, if you love this kind of content, please share, like, subscribe, follow. Uh, so you continue getting contents like this. This is CJ from McNally Studios. And as always, I'm here to deliver sense.